Alrighty then, hopefully I'm recording. Yes, I am. It is the 24th day, and I think this is the last day before Anton drops us a uh, big surprise on the uh, 25th day. But there you go. There's the, I guess this is the last box for now. I can't wait to see what's going on tomorrow, but uh, yeah, let's open it. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is it going to be? Oh my goodness, I know what this is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the Heckler & Co. G11. Look at that. Prototype weapon never released. Um, yeah. I mean, what more do you expect? Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, hold on. I have no idea what this is. Huh. Okay. Wait a minute. Nope. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. This will be this will be a trip to figure out how to work here. Okay, so let me just look at the gun. Got a nice little uh, space gat design. Wow. That is crazy. Look at that. It's got a uh, fire selector over here, and if you click uh, right on the, no, left on the thumb pad, you can choose from safe, semi, three round burst, and I don't know what negative 50 is, but <laughs> that sounds pretty fast, right? So let's put it on safe, click down the scope, the integrated scope, mm-hmm, okay. So where the bullets come out of there? There's the barrel. Right there, a little grip point right there in the front. All right, let me just put this there. Let's look at these magazines. Look at them. <laughs> they, this fires a 4.7 by 33 millimeter caseless, so there are no shell casings when uh, this thing is fired. And this thing kind of rivals the uh, P90 magazine in terms of length. <laughs> it's a little. It's really flat though. Look at that. Huh. All right. Well. Now I gotta figure out how to load this thing. And I think, if I remember correctly, put that baby in there. And, um, how do I chamber around? It has to do with this. I think it has to do with this little, uh, little, uh, doohickey here. I did not watch the Forgotten Weapons video yet. I've been a little bit, a little bit too busy. So, uh, you know, Ian probably explained all of this better than um, than I'm going to be able to but I guess you turn this thing and I think it's loaded <laughs> all right it's on semi-auto let's uh let's try it out all right there we go oh that is weird my tracking is a little uh Oops, yeah, something's wrong with my tracking here. Let me, uh... Huh, whoa. Uh-oh, I lost image there for a bit. Let me just see how this... Oh, look at that, that recoiling action right there. Again, caseless, so there's no uh, casings to worry about. Let's drop that magazine. Oh, man, this is so cool. All right, so we're going to do this again. Put the magazine inside the slot here. Because there's no other way. I mean, it doesn't go there. You know, I mean, th through the process of elimination, you kind of just figure out that the magazine goes in here. And uh, let me just try to jam this baby in there. All right, so then we got to wind this thing up like a wind-up toy. And uh, let's try burst. Three-round burst here. Whoa. I don't know what that is, but, uh, huh, okay, let me try that again, that is a very strange three round burst, <laughs> wow, reloading this thing is even harder than the P90, I'll tell you that right now, okay, so it does fire three rounds really fast, huh, Okay, let's uh, get rid of that one. And let's try the um, negative 50, whatever that means. 
I have no idea. I didn't watch the Forgotten Weapons video, so, you know, this is all new to me, which is really cool. I love that. All right, so we're on uh, negative 50. We'll see how this works. Oh, so that's like a full auto mode. Okay. Look at that action. The magazine moves uh, and everything, you know? All right, let's try that again. Let's try to streamline our reloading process here. Okay, and then I got to do this. I don't know if there's a button to, like, um, do this faster, but, well, you know? Oh, this is a little hard to reload. But there you go. All right. So, I mean, this G11. That's like a unicorn gun, you know, to the max. Because it's a prototype. It never released. You only see it in sci-fi movies and maybe some futuristic video games. But, wow, that is pretty cool. All right. Let me see if I can put some accessories on this thing. It's very doubtful. But, hey, you know, maybe we can throw a suppressor on this. Uh, let me get to the spawner here. Uh, arm swinger. Okay, let's go to the attachments. Uh, I don't think you can put a scope on this thing since there it has one, but might as well try it out. Nothing there. I don't think. You can't put it underneath. <laughs> can't put it on the grip. No. Uh, what about a, uh, sight? Uh, probably not, you know? There's no place to put it, so let's just throw that away. Lasers? Can I put a laser on this thing? Probably not. No. I don't see any obvious point to mount. But the I think maybe we could put a um, suppressor on this. Let me try a barrel extension. Huh? Maybe not. If that doesn't work, then a suppressor doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> But uh, let me just check something for a minute. Uh, let's see, this is a, um, an assault rifle. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try to find this thing. G11, G11, come on. Where are you? Um, battle rifle? Hmm. No, I don't think this is a battle rifle. I actually don't know. <laughs> I've known about this gun my whole entire life, but uh, I've never really looked at the specifics. So, um, yeah, okay. I actually don't know where this belongs. That's not carbines. I think it might... Oh, there it is, the assault rifle. Okay, so let me see if there's any uh, accessories. Nope. So this is all you get, is the G11 in the magazine. You can't put any suppressors on it, which is a little too bad, but, I mean... It's a prototype. What do you expect? Um, oh, actually, let me check one thing. I know Anton added a bunch of uh, ammunition. Maybe added some uh, caseless. Let's see. Nope, just full metal jacket. Okay, well, that's okay. You know, I mean, this is this more than makes up for the lack of uh, attachments. I mean. Just having the chance to fire this thing in a game, especially in virtual reality, that's pretty freaking amazing. Okay, so, I don't care about all that, let's just fight some bots. Um, oh, this is, this is really cool, I just, you know, it's a G11, you know? Especially in a game like this, Hot Dogs, Horses, and Hand Grenades, it's fully simulated, you know? It's, it's pretty great. Uh, let me spawn about... Uh, do 21 bots for right now and I think I've got this loaded hopefully yeah pretty much okay well there's no real way no real easy way to check so let's uh I take these guys out with a scope here we go here we go oh we got one target right there boom Oh. 
Wow, taking these guys out. Not bad. Oh. Got one right there. Actually, I uh, want to know how many rounds are in this magazine. Because I think I got everybody. Oh, got a couple of stragglers there. Chew them in the legs. I think I got one more. Oh. Anybody else? Oh, we got one more. Oh, got him. Oh, we got one more. Spoke too soon. Oh, <laughs> there's another one. I think that's all of them. Hold on. Oh, no, we got four more. Oh, no. Took him out without even looking down the sights. This magazine has a lot of rounds in it. I will tell you that right now. I haven't reloaded yet. Oh. That guy down there. I think that was four. Huh. Yeah, we did it. And how many uh, rounds do I have left? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four, twelve? Twelve, thirteen. I'm not too sure. Actually, hold on. Uh, let me check. No, 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 Need to go and find the G11. Huh. How many rounds is in this thing? 50? Is that what the negative 50 is for? <laughs> Let me uh, check out these words here. H and K, ACR, 167. All right. Nice, nice, nice. This is a prototype. I don't think they have to worry about uh, rights or anything. H and K will, uh, you know, they don't care since this gun was never released. Let's do three round burst. And uh, I find that grabbing the magazine like this Makes it easier because you know this is how my controller is like, and then you turn it to the side. Makes it easier, but this whole thing with the rotating the uh, dial here is kind of weird. Uh, we're on three round burst, right? So let's spawn some more bots. Same amount, twenty one. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I want to uh, actually want to see how controllable this thing is. Sorry if I'm yelling because I can't hear myself. Oh, it's a, wow, it's actually pretty controllable. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What better way to fight sausage wiener bots with a futuristic gun that never came out? Oh yeah, this gun is really controllable. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just what you'd expect from a uh, H and K space gat. Whoa, I got two of those. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm out. So yeah, three round burst. Okay. Now I gotta reload this thing under fire. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Grab that like this, and then I gotta twist the dial. Uh, sure. I'm just doing it. I'm going to do this one-handed. Oh, no. on the scope. I don't need a scope to aim. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot these guys. Oh, all right. I think I got all of them. Yeah, the recoil on this thing is not too bad at all. I just, the reloading process is a little complex. Yeah, look at that. Not that much movement uh, on the gun. Oops. Just 
just gotta get used to loading these things. <laughs> the whole twisting the knob here is kind of weird, but I mean, you know, what do you expect from a space gat like this? Oh, I shot those targets already. Hmm. I need some more targets. Oh, we got one over there. Let's see if I can, uh... With just one hand. I'm not using the other hand. You can see that. It's over here somewhere. I'm just gonna try to snipe this baby. Oh, wow. Alright. I wonder if I can dual wield this. <laughs> oh, that would be a weird thing. Oh, actually, hold on. I actually want to try something. Let me see if I can do the fast reload here. I can. Okay. And then I can't see where the knob is. Oh, huh. that's going to be kind of weird. No? Okay, I'm going to have to do the knob manually. Okay. All right, let's go get another one. This is this is a good this is a good drop, Anton. <laughs> the final drop of the game, I think at least, and it's uh, one of these rare. Oops. All right, and uh, let's turn the knob here. Let's put it on uh, single. Just load up on space gats. <laughs> Oops. Uh, wait a minute. Let me uh, go arm swinger, and let me spawn one more round of bots. Same number, twenty-one. And let's go. <laughs> oh man. Gotta run. <laughs> oh, missed. I managed to kill those three bots. I'm out. Okay, better reload. Oops. Oh, grab this. I gotta twist the knob. Okay. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> oh no. This guy's set on fully automatic. Okay, gotta grab this, gotta get this baby inside. Come on, get in the thing. There we go. Twist the knob. And I'm going to... There we go. Oh, I'm going to die soon. No, probably not. Oh no! Please, 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 please. Don't do this to me. There we go. Now I gotta twist the knob. Okay. Get back into the fight. Uh, <laughs> oh no. This is bad. Oh, I died. <laughs> Well, you know what? That was a bad idea in the first place, trying to dual wield these these things when the uh, reloading process is really hard. Again, that whole this whole thing right here just hmm 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 no, but it's still a fun 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 little gun. That is really cool. And let me see, just grab it like this, turn it to the side, stick it in. Gotta practice that, gotta practice that. I mean, if there is any other way to reload this thing, you know, I'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, you better tell me. Can I see what's happening inside here? Let me switch to single. Huh. 
Huh. Well, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I think at least. Okay, that's enough gushing about this gun. Wow, I can't believe it. The last drop, I think, of uh, Meat Miss 2018. It's a Heckler & Co. G11. I just want to admire this thing. Wow, look at this. <laughs> this is uh, pretty beautiful. Some might say it's ugly. You know, but those people, they're wrong. <laughs> no. Yeah, they, uh, it's a very unique look. A unique uh, looking gun. Oh, wow, just look at that. I love how, like I said, I love how the magazine, like... So, love that. That is just, hmm. That is just good. That is good. I don't know if I'm. Oh, it's supposed to be like this or like this. I'm not sure. Oh wait, no. I think it's this way. Yeah, because there's a notch at the bottom here, right? Again, I should have watched that uh, Forgotten Weapons episode, but uh, uh, it's on my playlist. I need to get around to it one of these days. Been too busy with other things. Three round burst is interesting though. Huh. Well, there you go. I mean, if you want to uh, experience it for yourself, you should get H3VR. I mean, this this game only nineteen ninety nine, but it's worth every penny. I'm gonna throw these in the trash. You no, know, always keep yourself clean. Keep your area clean. And uh, yeah, there you go. Meet Miss 2018. Tomorrow, though, we've got a serious drop of guns, so maybe Anton is planning something special, even more special than this. I mean, come on, you can't you can't admit this is pretty this is pretty freaking special right here. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, I got I, I got to stop the video now. So 